Well, hey, y'all. Log on for me. Want to share an update with you. In prayer and meditation this morning, the Lord gave me an assignment. So I need y'all to log on so I can tell y'all what he said. I'm out here in... Um, can y'all see what... Kind of guess where I'm at. You can't see that over there. And you can see this, right? You can see that. So you know what side of town I'm on. Picking up uh, one of the um, raffle item giveaways here from Sullivan's. A $50 um, gift card for you to bring your sugar poo. I mean, that might be half your meal, right? <laughs> here at Sullivan so uh, I see a few people have logged on want to give you an update of what is that little piece of hair doing right there okay want to give you an update of what the Lord has spoken so you know we're rounding out coming to uh, the last week and a half of unite to ignite fire hey sister Carolyn how you doing how you doing? How's Atlanta treating you? Praise Jesus. So, um, I've had an interesting morning already, right? I don't even think it's 12 o'clock, is it? So, had a doctor's appointment. We'll give you an update on that. And then, walked out of the doc. Well, before the doc, yeah, before I even got to the doctor's office, had an interesting morning in council with a wonderful couple in the kingdom. Hallelujah. People often ask me, you do this coaching and counseling and relationships, and you still want to be married. <laughs> I believe that's the Lord's will for my life, and I absolutely desire that to the right person, a man that's ready, uh, serving and seeking God for the kingdom. So I need y'all to log on. It went, it was up, and now y'all ain't gone down. I need y'all to get back on so I can tell y'all the update regarding Unite to Ignite. Fire revival and symposium so give me back up give me back up come on thank you for the hearts thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the love so left the doctor's office and uh had locked my keys in my car so i had to go old school y'all <laughs> glory to god i'm so glad i'm from ben harbor anybody from ben harbor you know how to do some things right you know how to jimmy a lock you know how to get a wire hanger so i had to get the wire hanger and I had called my uh, insurance company for roadside assistance and they were on their way. And just when I hung up with them and they sent me the text saying, okay, we're sending somebody to see about you, I was able to get that hanger in there and pop that lock. So on to my next assignments of the day. But this is the news. This is the news. This is the news. Come on. I need y'all. I need y'all. If you single, I need you to log on. If you're single, I need you to log on. If you're single, I need you to log on. If you're single, I need you to log on so I can tell you what the Lord has instructed me to do for Unite to Ignite. Now, I believe I told you guys, I really had no plans of doing anything uh, except receiving at Unite to Ignite uh, on November 11th and 12th at Progressive Baptist Church. And the Lord instructed me this morning in prayer and just being still before him that I needed to resurrect S S H H H. Does anybody remember who's ever heard me minister that message? S S H H H. Do you remember what that was? If uh Terry Truitt or some of the other uh, sisters from back in the day. Uh, this was one that I actually took around the country for singles. Single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. So, 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 the Lord has told me to have a breakout for single women. For single women. We still have our workshops for middle school, high school, um, middle school, high school, college, millennial, um, and adult mature women. Hey, Sister Sheffield. So, I will be doing, shh, 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 shh don't tell nobody, S S 
H H H. Single, saved, holy, for real holy, hot and horny. Now, now, uh, we not we not okay in all of that. <laughs> Glory to God, we not okay in uh, the latter part of that title. But um, but the Lord showed me years ago just how so many in the church, men and women, men and women, we have these desires, right? And they're natural, but we do not know how to submit them under God. Now, part of this challenge, come on now, Sister Thompson, uh, part of this challenge is that we are often telling women how to sanctify themselves and wait on the Lord for their husbands, but ain't nobody telling these men. Y'all can be uh, consecrated too. Y'all really can. Y'all can. Now, uh, that little couple that then wrote the book about how they waited uh, until uh, till they um, got married, and one's a star. I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but they've been going all around the country. Now, they told that, you know, he was waiting. The man, y'all, the man. The brother was waiting for 10 years before she came along. 10 years before she came along. And then when they met, they fell into the sin of having sex in their marriage. I know, keep it 100. We, I don't understand this stuff about why we just don't want to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Yes, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it at Unite to Ignite, making your calling and election sure. We are going to talk about making your purpose and choices sure. Now, Sister Tuesday, Minister Tate, Prophetess Elder, we're going to put all that down, and we're just going to be Tuesday just for a minute, for that hour and 15 minutes, and we're going to talk about this thing. You know, my sister reminded me my journey of abstinence started 20 years ago when I was 29 years old. Y'all, I never thought, Jesus... Hallelujah. I'm 49. I never thought, I never thought it was going to be going on this long. Glory to the King. I never thought. But here we are. Here we are waiting on God. And, and if you re was listening to my television, my radio show uh, last year, was it last year? I gave the testimony about how I bumped my head a little bit in there, but I didn't stay bumped too long come on, uh, that season that I had bumped my head. And, and as I said on the radio, it don't matter if I bumped my head three days before I testified, three weeks, three months, or three years. The bottom line is I've been in this journey for 20 years. I had told someone I had been in it for 17, but I didn't lost count. It's been 20 years. So even though somewhere in there, I, I, I you know, I did, you know, amen. And God was faithful. I, 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 God forgave me. My mama, I told my mama, my God and my pastor, I sat myself down for that, for that hot second. It wasn't no, you know, weeks and months of being out there and making a mistake. I sat my own self down and, and God dealt with me to heal me really more so, so I could forgive myself. Y'all play too much. So I could forgive myself. So I could give, forgive myself. So I'm just real. I'm transparent. So, so much of the time we're telling women how to walk this thing out, but ain't nobody telling these men. So ain't no men going to be there on Saturday, but I pray that I give you enough ammunition enough within yourself to walk up rightly in your conviction in your conviction to wait on God don't allow any man <laughs> right right shoot what don't allow any man because yes yes that's their primary desire but that's not our primary desire. And more importantly, it's not the will of God for us to continue. Matter of fact, the Bible says there is this sin, this sin that we do against ourselves and against him. This is the one. It ain't lying. It ain't cheating. It ain't committing adultery. It is the sin that we commit in our flesh with fornicating, having sex outside of marriage okay now i know the brothers got knees that's part of the reason why sister tuesday ain't married yet because chocolate brothers hallelujah couldn't couldn't wait on the lord and so we we gotta we gotta hold our ground and stand our ground it's not about being difficult you got all that caramel and chocolate and vanilla swiss almond going on plus anointing you got jesus christ you got the holy spirit listen the more saved you are the more anointed you are the more intimacy you desire but into me you see hello so i need you to see me before you try to see all of me the rest of me unclothed y'all play too much so we're going to talk about, shh, at Unite to Ignite, we're going to have a breakout for single women. Single, saved, holy, hot, 
and horny. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. And I pray that you are strengthened in your inner woman to be able to walk out this journey until the Lord sends your Boaz, Holy Adam, whatever you want to call him, until he sends him. And we're going to do real talk. You know, R. Kelly had a song. I don't see nothing wrong. Well, God does. <laughs> God sees something wrong with it. Yes, he does. Outside of marriage. Now, when you marry, have at it. Have at it. I remember my uh, previous covering before uh, Pastor Hill would say, you know, those in marriage ain't doing it. And those outside of marriage doing it all the time. That's a hot mess. That's a hot mess. So we need the ones who are waiting on God. Please share. Please share. Please share. Please share. We need those who are waiting on God to see something wrong with a little bump and grind. That's we need somebody to say something's wrong with that outside of marriage. Preachers, pastors, ministers, prophets, apostles, all of us saved, got Jesus, Holy Spirit, something's wrong with that. Because what sex does outside of marriage, it clouds your vision. Y'all know I'm the vision coach. It clouds your vision. It takes you off point to getting to your purpose. It delays stuff. Because now you thinking this is love. He's the one. She's the one. And it ain't none. It ain't none but your emotions, boo. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. That's why it's called emotions. Sometimes you up. Sometimes you down. Emotions. It moves. It moves. It's not constant. It's not consistent. Glory to God. So we're going to talk about, shh, shh, single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. And so we're going to help you get your emotions. Because what you have to understand, sex is a natural desire. God gave it to us. He said, flee from un." godly desires flee from sexual immorality he didn't say flee from sex y'all playing that ain't what he said he said flee from sexual immorality well sexual immorality is the stuff we doing outside of marriage and some of that stuff y'all doing in marriage ain't god either so let me help you because if god broke camp and clipped cracked the sky and came on down while we was in the midst of some of that stuff single say married all that he'd be like wait 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 wait, wait. that ain't holy <laughs> glory to god he said that ain't that ain't holy so we're going to talk about it at Unite to Ignite. So I need y'all single sisters in this journey with me, waiting on the Lord. Now listen, the marriage bed is undefiled, but let's, we just got to be mindful. We got to be mindful. And listen, swing from the chandeliers when you're married. Pool table. Come on. Do what you do. Wait, bitch. I don't care. Outside, inside, it don't matter. You married. That's your spouse. That's your boo. That's your wife. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm talking to all y'all single women and all y'all single brothers. Now. I do have the privilege and the honor of coaching married couples. I count it a privilege. Why would they come to me, this single woman? Why? Because I keep it real and I keep them in the word. I keep them real and I keep it in the word. And if you ask some who have had the privilege of sitting down with me, I don't give the brothers no slack and I don't give the sisters none either. If you raggedy, you raggedy. If you out of order, you out of order. God gave you one wife. Your name is not Solomon. So cut all them other women out. Get off the internet looking at stuff you ain't got no business yep i said it because it taints and spoils the intimacy of your marriage you are committing spiritual adultery if you are caught up in pornography yes i said it brothers and sisters ain't nobody scared i ain't scared i said it so yes i'm walking in my prophetic hat right now and i ain't scared i'm very clear about who i am so when you are doing all of that stuff not only are you tainting the sanctity of your marriage covenant your marriage bed not only are you because god wouldn't walk let me tell you something God, if he cracked the sky and came back and you was in the middle of that foolishness, he would not say, come on. He would probably be dealing with you just before you go to heaven so you could repent before you go on up because you don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to stop all that. And I know, I know it can be an addiction. And so maybe you need help and that's cool. But you watching stuff and expect your wife to be doing all in back then. She ain't took yoga. She ain't got, she ain't stretched in years. She can't do all that. She getting cramps. You try to make her do stuff because you just seen stuff on, TV, on the video. If somebody did a search, come on. Somebody did a search on your engine, on your laptop, on your desktop, on your iPad, and you got all that stuff you've been looking at. Hallelujah. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't got started because I didn't seen too much. I did, yes, Carla. Yes. 
because I, I'm, I'm, I didn't see too much in these counseling sessions. And the things, if we deal with these things on this side of I do, get your premarital counseling, deal with the stuff on this side of I do. Come on now, deal with the stuff, the money, how you raise kids, but also where y'all gonna go to church, deal with all of that. But you need to deal with this level of intimacy thing. He wanted four, 15 times a week and you only on one. That ain't gonna work, boo. Y'all gotta compromise. Y'all gotta find somewhere in the middle. Yes, God wants you free and free in your marriage free before you go in but not the bible says do not let your liberty do not let your freedom cause others to stumble but let me say this women you cannot put the responsibility of your holiness of your virtue in the hands of your man as a single woman you can't do that you can't do that you can't put your virtue oh we slid honey i need you to give me strength no 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 no. you need strength pumpkin you need strength and if he ain't trying to help you he about not be the one because he about need the holy ghost for itself you all caramel and smelling good and then did your bath and body work scrub got your skin all glossy and soft and that's hard that's that's difficult for a brother difficult so he needs jesus he needs the holy spirit i'm gonna be real I've had men because I'm very affectionate and there's an energy I have to, I'm just real talk that comes through my fingers. And, and I've been in relationships where men have been like, no, don't touch me. And all I'm doing is putting my hand on the back of his head because that's too much. So we got to, we got to understand these things. So we're going to talk about it at Unite to a Night Single Sisters. I need you to register, get four other, get five women. Y'all come together. Y'all register. It's only $30 for a group. It's only, uh, if you want to just do Saturday only, you can still come Friday, but you won't have uh, the pr um, preferred seating and some of the preferred uh, opportunities that are available to you. Thank you, Brother Brown. Uh, Sister Lisa, thank you guys so much for your thumbs up and your love. I need it. I need it. I need it. This journey of ministry, of Walking with God, far from perfect, got my own stuff, cry out to God constantly. That's part of the reason why he <laughs> dropped this in my spirit this morning. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, Jesus, I've been writing little love notes to my future husband. And so this morning I needed him because it was just a lot coming at me and I needed the comfort of him. And he's not here yet. So we wait on God. We wait on God. We ain't going to tip out on him. We ain't going to tip out on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There'll be two men in my life that I love. Hallelujah. Jesus, God, Holy Spirit, they all one, you know, and then with my boo when he come. Hallelujah. We just going to do this thing together. So if you desire to come, hey, Sister Matt, hey, uh, Sister Classy, Oh, I wish you was there too, honey. But this will be going on, yes, five women in a group for $30 each. $30 each. The regular price is, um, hey, profit. The regular price is $53. But if you, um, if you do it in a group, it's $30 each. $35 for one day on that Saturday. But um, remember, you get catered lunch. You get um, wonderful, wonderful uh uh, what are not giveaways, but rare raffle items, Tiffany's, y'all, Tiffany, Saks Fifth Avenue. Come on now. Uh, who else we got? Um, uh, gosh, we got all kind of stuff. We got a line first, so y'all need to be there. So we're doing fun, we're doing Jesus, we're doing it all. But all y'all singles, single sisters, you need to be there. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. It ain't been easy. I ain't gonna tell you it's been easy. It has not been easy because I told y'all my testimony now. It ain't been easy. It has not been easy. But God's a keeper. He's faithful. And there is someone who's willing to wait with you. Now listen, somebody's saying, well, you know, you need to hurt King Ribs. Come on now, that's catered lunch. King Ribs, y'all already know. Indianapolis, y'all, who? Carla Martin said to me, who serves King Ribs at a conference as a part of your bill? Y'all already know. A real dinner at King Ribs, y'all already gonna pay what, $15? Come on now. And you get the potential to walk away with a $4,500 fur. Y'all know I wanted to keep that, but I couldn't. Hallelujah. Because it's for y'all. So we have wonderful, wonderful raffle items, giveaways. Like I said, we got Saks. We got Barrington Jewelers. We have wonderful things. So come on out. Come on out. But single women, single women, back to you. Uh, God loves you. And God loves the man that he has for you. And God will give him the strength. Can God do a quick work? Absolutely. He can do a quick work as long as it's right. And it's, and it's complete. 
You don't want no half-baked. The Bible says, Ephraim, you are half-baked. You don't want to half-bake nothing. You don't want to half-bake woman. You don't want to half-bake man. You don't want to half-bake relationship. You don't want it half-baked, honey. Half-baked. Ugh, nasty. Chicken, still bloody. Cute, pretty on the outside. Isn't it golden and crispy? But on the inside, it's still bloody. It's still raw. Some of y'all need to go heal. Hallelujah, before you get married, because y'all been cut too many times. You've been hurt too many times. So you try to be married so somebody can heal you. And sometimes you're using sex as a part of your healing. But that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. So shh, 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 shh. S-S-H-H-H. Single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. And we're going to talk about it at Unite to Ignite on November 11th and 12th, Friday. Progressive Baptist Church. Prophet. I hope you can come. That would so encourage me. That would bless my heart. So I love you all so much. See you. See you on November 11th and 12th. And we're just going to believe God. Uh, I posted that song this morning. There is a miracle waiting for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I love you. I love you with the Lord. No, it ain't easy, Sister Lisa. What you say? But it's worth it. It's worth it. Hallelujah. Holla That's what I'm believing. It's going to be worth it. And quit talking this mess about... Girl, you gotta test it out, brother. You gotta test it out. Yeah, yeah, y'all. I got a friend who bought a Mercedes. He tested it and everything before he drove it and still had to take it back because the clutch kept sticking. Good God Almighty. So you can test it out all you want. That don't mean some of y'all, after y'all got married, y'all had to go repent because you was doing everything under the sun before you got married. Then you get it married and you dry as the Sahara Desert. Because God ain't blessed that part of your marriage. The marriage bed, he wants the marriage bed, the covenant of that thing, the sanctuary of that thing to be blessed and to flow, honey, like Niagara Falls. Y'all play too much. Y'all keep forgetting. So it's Tuesday. <laughs> Glory to God. And so you guys, I've, I've done that with couples. I've actually encouraged them to repent. Lord, forgive us for what we did before we entered marriage, honey, in the flow. After that, because you got that thing right. God honors marriage. It's the two of us in the marriage he tripping on. Jesus. Okay, I'm stopped because y'all getting all the information y'all going to get <laughs> on November the 12th at the symposium. So, Unite to Ignite. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. You said any CDs. <laughs> Actually, uh, Single, Safe, Hot, and Horny will be a book. I just need somebody to sit down and pull all my notes together and uh, so I can get it out there. Because that one, like I said, went around the country for probably about two years when I first ministered it. I ministered it here and it literally went around the country. So God said to pull it back out and serve it to the women at my women's conference. How are you going to have a women's conference, God said, and you're not going to talk to the women, the single women, about this challenge. And so men who, who, it's a desire and it doesn't mean that they ain't saved. It don't mean that they genuinely don't love you. It's just a need. And it will take the Holy Spirit and you, you prayerfully, the Holy Spirit before you come. But once you're there, once you're there, prayerfully that man of God will, that brother, first of all, you better make sure y'all yoked there first. Um, prayerfully, he will have uh, the discipline in the Holy Spirit to wait on God. So, and if if it i believe in seasonal thank you i believe in seasonal dating do that thing for a year that don't mean you can't get engaged in that year you can get married within that year but i think it's important uh to get to know each other to get to know each other and uh but god can do that work amen so hey brother patrick I know, right? Everybody going to want a copy. I'm telling you now, it's going to help you. So I still have my book, Waiting, Mastering the Unavoidable. I tell a little bit about my testimony of uh, relationships and, and uh, my, the, you know, some of the things that waiting on God and the challenges of waiting on God and waiting in God and waiting for God. And so please feel free to go to Amazon and order Waiting, Mastering the Unavoidable. But single ladies, sign up for Unite to Ignite. And I got y'all, I got y'all for shh, 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 single, saved, holy, hot, and horny. I see you on November 11th and 12th. See you there. Sign up today. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Bye.